my name is Amina and I'm from the New City Library. I'm here to talk to you about one of my most favorite crafts that I've done with the kids. This is a decorated hubcaps craft. I would recommend this for ages 10 and up. Here's another example of a decorated hubcap. Now, I'm going to talk to you about where to find hubcaps and some suggestions as to how you can decorate it because it's a pretty free-for-all type of program. There's really no set rules or regulations. Um, a lot of people may have a hubcap or two in their shed or their garage. If you don't, I've honestly seen them on sidewalks. I've seen them in parking lots, propped up against someone's mailbox for weeks and weeks. So they're definitely around. And now that I mentioned this, you may find yourself noticing them. So one step to take is that you're going to want to primer the hubcap. This is something a grown-up should do. You can usually just spray it with a spray primer. Usually white is a good choice. However, if you have a colored spray paint that you'd like to use, I did a black and yellow kind of combo spray job. That's also kind of fun. If you don't have spray paint, that's okay. You can use acrylic paint to decorate the hubcap. So again, spray paint or acrylic would be your first step after you've primered. And then the decorating is very flexible. I'll give you some suggestions. You could use pine cones, wine corks for a wine lover. If you know someone that likes to build, you could decorate it with nuts and bolts after painting it their favorite color. Seashells or rocks that aren't too heavy could look really pretty as well. Don't rule out leaves. You may have something outside that's available right now. I would press them between a book for a few days so that they're kind of dehydrated and ready to go, but then you can definitely use those too. Um, acrylic, you know, plastic types of flowers. These are paper, but you may also find plastic ones. Those can be a nice touch. And do not rule out cutting out pieces of fabric that catch your eye. Those can be good choices too. So those are just a few ideas. When I'm working, I usually like to use a hot glue gun to put them on. If you don't have that, you could try regular Elmer's glue. And once you've um, glued these on, the hot glue is pretty instant. Elmer's glue would need a little time to dry. Okay, so moving on to our other hubcap, which we sh looked at earlier. This is the yarn decorated one. If you're wondering where to get lots of yarn, sometimes you'll find a knitter will have lots of ends of yarn. So once quarantine is over, you may ask somebody that you know if you don't have any right now, but that is how I got mine for the library. So using a plain hubcap, you would start with a small piece of yarn and you would tie it on. So basically, you're gonna use the hubcap as a loom, which sounds kind of surprising, but it really has the same pattern that you would use. It's just an ever over under kind of pattern, which you would use for like a real life loom. So you're just tying on your first piece of yarn. You're gonna push it down as low as it will go. And then you'll just begin your over under pattern. So if you're starting over, then next you'll go under, and you'll just kind of continue that until you've used all your yarn. And once you have, it's very easy because then you'll just tie on a new piece to the end of your first piece, and you would just continue from there. Now it does take a while to make it, but I think it's a worthwhile program or project to do. I think it came out pretty well. So that's something to think about. And when it's done, as I said, you would continue, and once you've gotten to your top up here, then you would be done. And that can take, you know, many, many types of yarn, but it does happen, and it comes together pretty fast once you get the feel for it. So those are just a few ideas. You may have a better way to make your hubcap, but again, here are my, my first example, We're using paint and some ribbon and some paper flowers. And again, the second one is just weaving it through with yarn. And then as you may have noticed, when you're done, you can put on a, 
a tie, and you can very easily hang this up on your wall or give it as a gift. Alrighty, I hope that was helpful, and thank you very much for listening. Have a good day.